Onivia, League of Legends highlights. Ultimate, perhaps they can use it as a dishing gauge. They have a huge amount of mobility and tools to kind of disrupt. But FBX has got ah, talked it about it so much dive. You throw up the speed boost from the Jace. You have the uh, Java. So Khan was trying his best not to burn the flash there, but the bonus. Oh, hang on, can he just go yep. in? Ignite, pillar, damage. Doom gonna get himself the knock up and flash away. He will just survive the ignite, but the TV's coming in for a little bit more as Showmaker wants in. Channeling the top, not gonna find it. Good patience. And Showmaker gets first blood of the group stage. As it's a one player though, we'll see about that mobility and how it does affect them. They immediately transition off of that top side gang into the Rift Herald again, and it's about to go down. Looking to go for a smite fight, though. He's going to jump won't. in, hit the eye, and Canyon lands the smite. They're going to find themselves Harold Flash to grab it, and he gets the kill thanks to Subjugate. This is looking pretty good. Canyon, though, doesn't have a good way out. They will finally get the first kill of the game, but Showmaker still trades one back. Now, Nuggery, left alone, doesn't have a flash, doesn't have a way out, and it's a 4-1, to 5-1 to one game because in bot lane, we've got a tower dive. Miss Fort losing all of his health, and... They may just finish it off with the Herald here as well. Doombi can do his best to wave clear, but first turret is going down at 12 minutes. Huge stage, so many dashes. Uh, Khan as well. Graves has two built into the kit with the ultimate and the dash. So as, as long as go, um, probably going to go down as well in the you know, top tower. So the map is going to be wide open for the map. So at the very least, FPX have good setup for the next Drake, and Dalmon will be forced to use their vision to clear out their bot side of the jungle. Punch as best they can, getting some stuff done top side. Uh, they have gotten a single turret with bot lane dying, but. Hey, look, here's a Rift Herald. Here's bot lane turret dying, and just the pace is still too good from Dom Juan Kia. And, and they won't have to, to let up on that pace. You can run this Rift Herald straight into turret number two by so many teams still. These are big objectives, huge cash in, bunch of extra gold here for the side of Dom Juan, being able to get two on the bottom side as far as the tower goes. And Canyon. Ooh, the flash to block Doin B. Canyon is down three levels and thinks he can beat the opposing mid laner. So far, so good. Khan and Showmaker are on the way. He's gonna jump out, but no, gets stopped by the pillar. Doombi has enough health to survive for now, but a flash follow, Khan kills him over the wall. Gets the shield bow pop, but LWX is on the chase. Gets the missing health pop, and they should have enough damage, and he will go down. A one for one after all that. Wow, I, I can't believe FPX actually just tried to save their boy there. They could have just <laughs> looked to trade it for a Drake. So many members of Dalmon were committing to the top side, but they said, no, we want to fight. We want to try and save him, but now Showmaker has caught Crisp out of position, and I don't think he's going. Get to get out of this. One. No, this is a, this is a dead Nautilus. Yeah, Bye. Nautilus, literally one of the slowest move speed champs in the game. Yes, with a LeBlanc. Position, but thanks to Showmaker's great awareness and of course the damage that he brings on this LeBlanc, they were able to come out on top. So well played for a down one. They can Phoenix will they defend top lane tier two. It's a pretty big gold prize if it happens. Tian taking actually pretty meaningful poke from Barrel's Qs as the Yumi keeps scaling, and he's gonna have to jump over, take some decent damage, but does not get fully tagged up by Showmaker, so stays alive. But now, Primary Engage is kinda out of there. Crisp is frontlining and just, your team's nowhere nearby. How are you there? Eighth kill goes over. This turret's gone. <laughs> yeah, guess what? We're, we're towards the later stages of the game. We commit to some of the all-ins. That has led to a more difficult situation with 23 seconds on the Dragon Timer here, being Dragon number three for Dom Juan, and them having full map control. Oh, Chris. Uh-oh. That's not how you play that one. Jumps into a... Uh, yeah, he's dead. All right, Barrow gets the kill credit. Love to see it. Get him on the board. He's been a pretty important member of the team. Tion. Flashing to safety, don't stay alive, is all right, I'm dead. Dunk, gore drinker, whatever, I'll die. Bullet time because they don't need the cooldown anyway. Just get the kill completed, now chase for a little bit more. A couple of members left alive, but they're pushed for mid late tier two. This does here, keep it going, no problem. Can you gonna keep healing up with the uh, Divine Sunderer here as well? They've got Yumi for good measure if they need it. Now Crisp is in, but again, you cannot smite this one. It's not gonna be really contestable. Just don't screw it up. There's the combo, there's the kill. Okay, how about the team fight? Showmaker, Crisp. Just missing constantly. The anchor's too early. Gonna get knocked down. Shrieker runs another one on the board. 11 to 2. And yeah, that's gonna be a good flash for Nuggery, but the chase down ah. is still there. Falls to his old team. He spent three years on Dominant, including one in Challenger. They're gonna take him down. Jumps on him for a second, gives him a little boost to kill off. <laughs> and, and how devastating is this combo? You get hit by a Yumi slow, then the MF slow comes on top of you, and you're like, okay, I've gotten away from this. They'll find themselves more picks. They find themselves the Baron, and they find themselves with an 11k gold lead in their first game at Worlds. Showmaker and Barrel are gonna keep 
dishing out the poke as you're seeing right now, trying to force FPX away from the tower, and slowly but surely, Darmon is going to break into the base of FPX. Okay, you can see several top side, Yumi plus the Showmaker heading down to the bottom side. No poke just yet, but they can't find a root on a con. Looking at a wave clear on the bot side, that's all they're gonna get as the cannon chips away at top lane. Tian burns the stopwatch, survives a bit of damage, but they're gonna get him with round two. The yeah, bullet time lasts long enough. The time is longer than a stopwatch, and so they knock that one down. Kill, turret, and now inhibitor. Top lane is cracked. Still 35 seconds left on Baron. Will they get Nexus with it as well? Only 27 minutes in the game, and Damwon Kia have been slaughtering their chief competition in the group stage. FBX with a lot of the collapses. Yeah, the Yumi was was quite essential in some of the chase downs there, especially you know, jumping on Canyon for uh -oh. the, the second one. But let's take a look at how they finish it out, because it should be only bottom side left. They're gonna stay in back door of the turret. Here comes the ultis in, and Crisp is gonna find yet another death. Ults in the flash to get the root, and that's Nuggery going down as well. Dies with his old team. Khan gonna life steal back up. Dodges TN. Dunk comes to the other side of the map, and just gonna die to Showmaker anyway. A double kill is in for Ghost, and they're just gonna start taking names. Fun plus Phoenix. Limited to two kills in their opening game of Worlds 2021. Doom being going to drop as well. They make sure the Fountain doesn't have anything to say about it. And an 18 to 2 absolute slaughter. Under 30 minutes. Dom One Kia came to play. Okay, okay. so.